All right. We're at the end of our program tonight. We have one more piece to perform. Uh, before we uh, perform, I just want to make sure I thank a few very, very um, important people. Uh, first of all, I want, first and most importantly, I want to thank all of our student performers tonight. Uh, from the beginning strings, the beginning band, um, Jazz Band A, Jazz Band B, and then this concert band you see, um, the, the talents we have at Cleveland High School and the work ethic we have at Cleveland High School, in my opinion, I'm a little biased, the second to none. I'm really, really proud of the progress that I've seen from all of this this year. And it's a pleasure to be able to work with uh, each and every one of you. Um, I want to thank the parents of all of our students for coming tonight and supporting us throughout the entire school year. I know we asked a lot of you. And thank you guys for always rising to the call and uh, doing whatever these students need. Um, I want to thank our supportive administration here at Cleveland High School. Uh, I believe uh, our principal and our assistant principal are somewhere here. Ms. Cindy Duong and Ms. Stephanie Slaughter for all your support. And I want to, uh, I also want to thank the wonderful team of uh, teachers and uh, educators that I get to work with. Um, I want to thank, ending just a killer first year at the job, Mr. Erwin Medida. I want to thank Mr. Daniel Badillo for doing an awesome job this semester with his students. I want to thank Mr. E. I saw him there a second ago, and he's still here somewhere. Mr. Anthony Espinosa. There he is. Mr. Anthony Espinosa for sharing his music with us. And again, Mr. Taguchi and uh, all our jazz team that has been helping out with us this year. Thank you very, very much. And it's really cool that these kids get to work with so many different um, teachers. I think it makes them more adaptable and ready for whoever the next person waving the baton at them is going to be if they choose to pursue music uh, beyond Cleveland High School. We This group performed five pieces tonight, and they have four different conductors, and that's really cool. And they were able to follow each person's different style and different personality um, with great expertise. So uh, I'm just honored and privileged to be a part of such a big, wonderful team full of people that uh, help out these kids, and we couldn't do it alone. Um, but yeah. And lastly, uh, I want to thank our seniors, for whom this is their last performance. Can we have our seniors please stand up and be recognized? It's a very special group of kids. Um, each and every one of these seniors brings so much to the band um, in more ways than they might realize. Um, some of them have been around all four years. Uh, some of them uh, wasted three years doing volleyball, uh, but killed it their senior year. Um, but uh, some of us uh, trickled into the family, one, one trickled into the band family, one trickled at a time. Uh, I just. I, I really am going to miss each and every one of you, and you guys have definitely left your mark on this program. Uh, you can remember what it was like your sophomore year when we had like 15 wins on the field, and then uh, all the way now to your senior year where uh, the band is huge and we barely fit in the band room and we've got two jazz bands. Um, you guys have been the key engine for this journey, and I hope you guys remember this journey and uh, feel proud. And when you come back and visit, I hope you guys feel a sense of ownership over every single band that you hear at Cleveland High School uh, because they wouldn't be here if not for you, just like you guys wouldn't be here if not for our alumni that are out there. Yes, even Andrew Tampa Bola. Uh, so you guys have left your mark and uh, we hope you guys uh, just always just feel pride about what's going on here in Cleveland. So big round of applause for our seniors. I'm being approached by a couple of parents who probably want the microphone. <laughs> <laughs>